Hi all, so in today's video um, I'm going to be showing you how to play without a shoulder rest. So as you probably have seen some previous videos of mine, I have been playing without a shoulder rest for about two years now and I've been getting a lot of requests from people um, to show how to do it because I know it's, it's quite rare nowadays. So um, in today's generation obviously most people are playing with a shoulder rest um, and it's actually quite rare to find people who play without and I think this is why a lot of you are asking me to show how to do it. But what you have to know is that actually in high fets generation, for example, um, people were, most people were playing without a shoulder rest. Um, and actually there's a very interesting book, um, this one, which I'm going to put all the details uh, in the description, which was written by Leopold Ore, who was the teacher of Yasha high fets. And he actually says, um, I'll read it to you. The placing of a cushion beneath the back of the instrument in order to lend a more secure support to the chin grip should be avoided. Now, um, obviously this is a different generation and I think nowadays there's just it's a personal choice uh, to play with or without. Um, but um, yeah, it wasn't encouraged at all at the time actually. And um, what I'm going to be going into next is why. So one of the first reasons, I think, and I think the main reason why um, some people play without a rest is the sound production. Now you have to know that by putting a shoulder rest on the back of your violin here, this will reduce the sound for sure. And um, Leopold Ore actually mentions this in his book that it reduces, um, a th a th it takes a third of the sound off, which is huge. I don't know. I don't know if that is proven, um, but what's sure is that it definitely does take off some of the sound, no matter what kind of violin you have. Um, you can even do the experiment yourself. So um, I don't think it will show uh, in the video, but you can do it with yourself. So. You take your violin with the shoulder rest, you play a few notes, even just open strings, then you take it out, play a few open strings, you will hear the difference, I promise. Also let me know in the comments if you did feel the difference, let me know. Um, now the second thing and the second reason why I like to play without a shoulder rest is because I feel freer. So when you play with a shoulder rest, your violin is kind of stuck in one place, you know, it doesn't move. Uh, it has its advantages because obviously you can, you know, you don't have to hold your violin with your left arm so much, you can just, you know, leave it there and it's quite comfortable. But at the same time, your violin when you're playing isn't able to, to move as much, um, which for me was, um, well, I don't know, it's something that I like. Um, you know, I feel freer, um, I can also feel closer to my violin, I don't know, just by, by having direct contact with it. And the last thing which I think a lot of you will relate to is that you don't have this falling of the shoulder rest every two minutes, especially in orchestra or things like that. I mean, I remember going mad, like replacing my shoulder rest every, like every five minutes. Now, how to do it? Okay, so I'm going to be showing you how I play without a shoulder rest. Of course, that's, that is my personal experience and things that I have learned um, and it might uh, help you, um, but obviously it is just my personal experience. Um, what I do is that I put my violin on my collarbone. I use my collarbone as a way to rest my violin. It's very important, I think, that you don't use your shoulder uh, to rest your violin, but your collarbone. And then the rest is, um, you know, held with uh, the left arm, which is something which differs from playing with the shoulder rest. Um, one thing I'd like to mention quickly is chin rest. Um, this is not my usual violin, it was loaned to me um, for the summer. Um, but on my 
um, everyday violin, I actually changed chin rest when I started playing without a shoulder rest. Um, and I have put a centered chin rest. So for those who don't know that what I, what that is, it's basically instead of being on the left, the the chin rest is actually put in the center here. So that basically allows me because I put my violin on my collarbone. Instead of having my head like this on the left, I can put my head just right in the middle. And for me, it really really helps. So that might be something that you 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 have to do. I don't know that you just have to experiment and, and see how you feel. So now I'd like to give you just a few tips, a few advices on um, things that I was told when um, I swapped from playing with uh, a shoulder rest without. Um, it's also things I read that really helped. Just wanted to share them with you. Um, so the first thing was that when, you, when you're swapping, so when you play without a shoulder rest suddenly, uh, you have to be careful to really hold your violin quite high because when you're used to having a shoulder rest, the violin you know kind of is holding itself basically, and so you have no problem to hold it up. But when you play without, obviously the left uh, arm has a much bigger role as it you know it has to obviously hold the violin, and very easily we can we can because we're not used to it we can have a posture which is really kind of low. That is something that you have to be careful of. Um, and just make sure you do keep your violin up. The second thing is shifting. I know a lot of people have been asking me, oh, how do you shift when you play without shoulder rest? It's hard, blah, blah, blah. Uh, now, I'm not going to get into this so much just because I know it's a bit of a sore subject. People have a lot of different opinions about it. Uh, and I'm sure in the comments I will get people telling me, you know, oh, this is the way I do it, this is the way I do it. So, I will just share the way um, I've heard some people do it and the way I do it. Now, I know um, people mention the fact to use the shoulder, especially when you shift down, um, to help, obviously, because there is not, nothing actually holding your violin. Um, there is also the technique of actually shifting much more with your wrist rather than, um, rather than your whole arm. So um, helps me. So shoulder and um, and wrist. Um, but this is all I'm going to say today, just because I know people have different ways to do it, and I don't want to get into an argument with anybody. Okay. And now the last thing I would like to say to you, but it's very important. So I hope you're still watching. Um, if after this video you're willing to try, give it a try to you know to play without a short rest. Um, you should know that you you cannot do it straight away. Like it's, it's, it's actually quite bad to say suddenly, okay, I take off my short dress and I'm now I'm gonna play without a short dress, suddenly. This can be very dangerous because it is such a different feeling. It can actually um, hurt your left arm and shoulder. So what I recommend, and this is what I did, is to slowly change. So for example, Tomorrow, after watching this video, you can say, for example, I'm going to take off my shoulder rest for 10 minutes, let's say. Uh, for example, there's a double stop exercise that I'm going to do without the shoulder rest. So this is a good exercise to do anyway because it actually, uh, playing without shoulder rest will make um, what you do with your left thumb much more important. You really have to rethink about the role of the thumb. Um, so it's a good exercise to do anyway. Um, but especially if you want to swap from playing with to without a short rest. Um, now and then the next day you can do 2 times 10 minutes and then 3 times 10 minutes and then just, you know, slowly more and more. This is what I did and after about 2-3 weeks I actually said to myself, I feel more comfortable without so I'm going to take it out. And there were still times when I was putting it back on but this is the way I did it and I think this is the way to do it if you want a comfortable and a swift change. You might also say, okay, maybe this is not for me. I'm actually going to keep it. But I think it's always good to try things out um, and, uh, you know, always experiment as a violinist, I think. So, anyway.
anyway, that's all for today. Um, let me know in the comments uh, what you thought. If you have been trying to play without a short dress, what are your feelings? Let me know. Um, don't forget to give a like to the video if you enjoyed it. Uh, and subscribe to my YouTube channel because I'll be posting some more videos very soon. And also a giveaway, so <laughs> you don't want to miss that. <laughs>